Welcome to my garden studio. This is La Casita, the place where I teach my workshops and paint. And today I want to talk about UV protection and reflections on your paintings. If you are like me, an artist or maybe a collector, you might have this problem. And I'm talking about the reflections on your artworks when these are framed. I have a lot of light in this studio. You can see over here how bad it is, especially in this one, because I have all these windows and obviously the doors. So here I have one of my watercolors and it's framed with the glass that comes with the frame that I bought but you can see how the reflections are there. You can even see <laughs> myself there. So what I'm doing is that I am changing the glass of my frames. I have done that already with this one. You can see how smooth it looks, no reflections, it's great. And I've done the same with this one over here. So I basically need to do the same changes with this frame over here and these ones. This is obviously uh, something I want to do here in my studio because I need to protect also my watercolors from the UV rays. My watercolors are always sprayed with UV protection but still I have a lot of light here so I want to add additional protection and I would prefer not to have you know the reflections I make a lot of filming in the studio I film my workshops here there are lots of photo shoots happening all the time so it will be very nice to have everything with a non-reflective glass so I'm going to show you how I do that For obvious reasons, your items will arrive very well packaged. It doesn't matter if it's glass or acrylic, they are still fragile, so you want to be careful in the way you handle them. So I really recommend you to open your package on the floor and also do the exchange from your frame using the box you got or maybe lay down a towel. You, want to, you don't want to scratch your new acrylic or glass. I want to show you, um, I'm going to have a, an exhibition soon and I bought this frame, but I'm not happy in the way it looks. There's lots, lots of reflections around. And obviously this is something I want to people to really enjoy without the reflections on it. So I, I bought um, an acrylic for it and I'm going to show you how I'm going to change it and you will see there is going to be a huge difference. I'm also going to change the, the large frame of the sunflowers that you saw and all of the <laughs> acrylics that I have there with the reflections. So let's do it. When you open your first acrylic you will notice it's blue <laughs> because it comes with a protective layer. So don't worry if you see that. You see, and you will have another layer of protection in the other side. So just look for the corner and peel it. There you are. So I want to show you your glass or acrylic will look like this. <laughs> Don't worry about this. This is the anti-reflectant layer. And if you touch it, it feels like it has a little bit of texture. You want this side to be on the outside of your painting. Let me show you. This is a watercolor that I recently painted. And I'm going to place on top the glass I'm changing now. So you can see 
you don't have any light on top but you can see my hand moving there and the light on the window right there so this is a standard glass and this is the acrylic I'm going to use once you place it on top of the watercolor it becomes clear so you don't get any reflections around so don't worry if you get something that looks like this it is normal so one of the things that you have to take into consideration when using anti-reflectant acrylic is that ideally it should be on top of your artwork and not floating because you will get something like that here I have again my frame I'm going to change now that glass we want the texture layer on the outside I still need to add a mat to my artwork but it doesn't matter I can change the glass now and there you are you can see okay that's the window you get something but it's not as extreme as it was with the glass Now I want to move on and change the glass on this painting and we can say goodbye reflections! <laughs> And here it is, my sunflowers without any reflections. And I want to move on and change the acrylics on my clip frames over here. Before I change the acrylic on this clip frame, I want to show you a close up so you can see how it looks. So you will normally get a backboard, then a board or your artwork and the acrylic. Finally, the clip is the thing that holds everything together. You will have a light. You will get a little hole there or something for the clip to hold and then this is how it looks on the front. Pretty straightforward. To remove it, you just need to do that and remove it. A piece of advice, these clips have the tendency of scratching the acrylic, you can see here. So normally the scratch stays behind the clip, so it might not be a problem. But I have a suggestion for you. You can leave the protective film until you do the whole process and then you can remove it at the end to avoid this. If you haven't watched the first part of this video, go <laughs> and watch it so you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to change this standard acrylic with anti-reflective acrylic that I have over there. I need to remove all the clips. Again, it's very simple. This is pretty straightforward. I just remove the old acrylic. Everything is going to stay there. So you see I have a backing board and my watercolor is lying on top. And I bring the new acrylic. I already removed the protective film. And you can see I bought something thicker. So this is two millimeters and the acrylic that comes with these frames usually is very very thin you can hear <laughs> it's only one millimeter so i recommend getting something thicker two millimeters might be enough and i just need to put back the clips i might need to add a little bit more of pressure because it's thicker now 
so I just push this not much you see in the right spot and that's it a quick comparison here with these two Let's take another tour to La Casita. Now that I have changed all the acrylics from my frames to non-reflective. And here I have my sunflowers from before. I am waving <laughs> my hand so you can see that you can see me as before. Massive, massive change. I also change the acrylics from my creep flames over here. See how different it is now. I'm super happy. Not only in the way they look, but also knowing that I have added extra protection to my watercolors. Obviously in this one where I have a lot of light, there's something there, but not as it was before. I still have this little one over here. I need to add a mat, but I changed the acrylic. You can see the difference from before. And I hope you find all this information useful. Please remember to like and share so others can benefit from this information. Thank you for watching.